Willkommen wieder bei Sarah's Music. Heute sind wir in New York on the 7th Avenue neben Carnegie Hall. Aber wir gehen über die Straße in das Büro von der 21C Media Group, eine Firma, die sich darauf spezialisiert hat, klassische Musik in den USA zu promoten. Placido Domingo und Rolando Villason sind nur einige der großen Stars, die sich hier bei der 21C Media Group für ihre Social Media und digitales Marketing beraten lassen. Und es werden immer mehr. Um sich in der heutigen Musikwelt durchzusetzen, muss man natürlich ein super Musiker sein und Meister seines Instruments. Aber heute in unserer digitalen Welt muss man so viel mehr machen. Hier bei 21C Media bekommen die Künstler Hilfe mit der nicht musikalischen Seite ihrer Karriere. Ich mag diesen Team sehr und die Energie in diesem Büro ist ganz toll. Das Team der 21C entwickelt auch ganz neue internationale Projektideen, wie das YouTube Symphony Orchestra, für das junge Musiker aus 30 Ländern zusammengebracht wurden. Das Konzert in Sydney, Australien wurde live auf YouTube übertragen und hat 33 Millionen Zuschauer gelockt. Gegründet wurde die 21C Media Group von drei Partnern, Glenn Petrie, Jessica Lustig und Albert Imperato. When people come in and they just want to see what they call the wall, the wall of fame, and you just take a look at the artists, Placido Domingo, another legend, Daniel Barenboim. I mean, we have like a wall of history here. So we're here in 21C's conference room with two of the managing partners, Jessica Lustig and Albert Imperato. Welcome to your conference room, you guys. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Sarah. We're thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. I absolutely adore the work you guys do. Do you find there's a difference uh, between the, the younger generation of classical music artists and the older generation? Do you find you have to push the older artist in the direction of social media and websites and all things digital, or are some of them taking to it like a duck takes oh, to water? You know, we've worked with some of the clients we've worked with for a long time. I mean, the company is 15 years old. Uh, Deborah Voigt, give you one example. We have her book right here. Uh, at the beginning, I remember artists that we've had this long relationship with asking, do I really need to do this? Do I really need a website? Do I really need to, to bother with Facebook and Twitter? Did, and didn't Debbie say she, you were going to get it? I'll never forget it. I remember she would say, oh, she said over lunch one day, she said, what is this Twitter thing? Like, I've been hearing people talking about Twitter. And I just took out my phone. And I, I showed it to her, and she, honestly, her, she rolled her eyes. She's like, oh, that's kind of silly, isn't it? <laughs> and about six months later, she's like, uh, oh, Albert, I've been, I've been looking at that Twitter thing. We should, you should really show me how it works. And she absolutely took to it. She is funny, and it, she is very spontaneous. She talks directly to almost all of her Twitter followers. It's amazing the back and forth. Die amerikanische Opernsängerin Deborah Voigt ist heute eine der gefragtesten dramatischen Sopranistinnen weltweit. I'm hoping you're going to say what I think you're going to say. One of your favorite projects is that's actually how we met. Right, we actually met through the YouTube Symphony Orchestra, which was a, an enormous two-part marketing initiative. Incredible with project. Uh, really uh, an experiment uh, for, for a worldwide project that YouTube could use on all of its channels around the world. Another really rewarding project that we did uh, was to help highlight this was nice. um, yeah. with the help of the World Bank and the State Department, a youth orchestra from, from Kabul, from Afghanistan, who came and did a performance tour at the Kennedy Center and at Carnegie Hall.
It's very busy in here. They're not just pretending to be busy for the cameras. They're actually working, right? <laughs> right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Olivia and Garrett are responsible for the digital and social media of the 21C star-studded client list. Garrett, what does that even mean? You're responsible for the social media. What do you have to do? Let's uh, try to figure out what's the best way to get our artists to connect with their audiences, finding great social media platforms that they uh, that that match their personalities and building new sites and finding new projects in design and technology to make that happen. What works the best on a Facebook page of a classical mu music artist? I think the more personal the better. So when people have a sense that they're there with the artist, they feel connected, they feel uh, empowered, and I think that's a, it's a great thing for musicians. Tell me about a couple of your favorite projects. I think Rolando Villazón, who's this amazing Mexican tenor, he'll, he... Rolando! <laughs> he's a cartoonist. He draws for us, and we find ways to animate them and share them online. What are you up to here? Newsweek from 1982 with Placido, the king of the opera. Look yeah. at him, wasn't he beautiful? Well, he still, still is. Still is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on here? Uh, we have been working with Placido on uh, just this incredible amount of memories he has from his career, archival photos, wow. on stage, off stage. Just finding a way of making this legacy digitized and we also trying to find a way of putting it all together so it tells a story. He's, he's, he does great stuff for social media. He does all these little videos mm -hmm. and greets his fans and uh, you think it's really necessary today? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, when you have so many performers and celebrities who are online and making themselves accessible to fans to not do that, uh, you cut yourself off a little bit. Schnell noch ein Selfie für mich, während wir auf einen von 21C's Kunden warten, den Chefdirigenten der New York Philharmonic, Alan Gilbert. Hey! <laughs> 21C has another visitor today, Maestro Alan Gilbert, principal conductor of New York Philharmonic, and an old friend, and I'm really happy to have you here to talk to me. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Do you think people can get away with doing no social media, no website promotion? Do you think it's really just become part of our society? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't put the you can't put the genie back in the bottle. It's uh, it's out, and it's it's great. And I you know I for one love watching your concerts. I like watching my own concerts. Yeah, I was going to say I like watching your concerts. <laughs> and, you? and, and, and I also and the interviews and, that we do. I mean, I think when yeah, when, so when you were in Berlin it, and you it, played with us, we had this lovely interview, and it, it makes makes the artist more accessible. Absolutely, to the, it to the audience. Personalizes the experience and. It, and I think, I think in a really good sense, artists, musicians who are able to reach out directly to their public um, become humanized. It's this ironic thing because it's actually the most technological, you know, digital thing and it's remote and it's through a phone and people are, you know, checking their Twitter feed and things. But actually, it used to be that, you know, you would never see, you know, your favorite artists in person no, except in the concert hall. Alan, when you're on the road a lot and you tweet, we follow each other on Twitter, is there any sort of, of artist competition? You know, do you even notice how many Twitter followers you have? I do. I'm, I, I track every day to see if I have a couple more. Oh, uh, I, please follow Alan Gilbert. <laughs> It'll make him happy. Please follow. No, <laughs> it's, a, it's such an easy way to get in touch with so many people all at once. And, and it's, I it really is a revolution. It is, absolutely. I think it's, really... it's a revolution. Yeah. Because now, you know, the traditional forms of advertising still exist and obviously still work, but they're so expensive and take time and you have to plan ahead and, you know, create an ad and send it in. Now with the tweet, you can reach many more people instantly, essentially for nothing. It's very, it's, you know, it's completely changed the paradigm. Das war's von Sarah's Music for heute. Ich habe ein paar super Fotos gemacht. Ich gehe sie gleich tweeten. Bis zum nächsten Mal.
Alan, that's, right. that's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around. Yeah, we turn it around. No, that's the wrong way around too. Okay. We turn it around. Okay. Put your little right. finger there. in the hook. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Is this a uh, B flat horn or? A, oh, don't ask such technical questions. <laughs> no, I remember the fingerings though. It's like, it's... If you press that down, it's B flat. Okay, I want B flat. Yeah. Right. We just want to hear a noise. No, I want to figure out this. Is, uh, Maestro. Uh, Wait, then, uh, then, right? Am I right? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, I was just nodding off. Da, da, <laughs> uh, da, no, no, no. Da, 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 da. That's that the right finger? That right? is perfect, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs>